Hello and welcome to week 10 of College Football Predictions. My name is Seidel and I'm going to be going through each of the big games this week and predicting who wins and who loses. What I mean by big games is games either between two ranked opponents or games that I think could be close or could be an upset. And that's just so then I'm not predicting 20 blowout wins every week. And uh, my last my last week record was 8-1. I got one of two upset predictions right. I got Texas beating Oklahoma State right. And I got Florida losing to Missouri wrong. Um, there are a lot of big games this week, so let's just get started with the 3-1 and one Florida Gators versus the 4-1 and one Georgia Bulldogs. Now, the, the, I misjudged the Gators last week. I thought they would let up a upset against Missouri, but they actually blew them out of the water 41-17. to Georgia also had a hard-fought win against Kentucky 14-3. to Now, Florida's passing game has been phenomenal this year, especially uh, QB Kyle Trask with 18 touchdowns with only two interceptions, also 1,300 yards. And they're also averaging 350 yards passing a game. Uh, Georgia's offense hasn't been as good this year. They've struggled a little bit, but I think their defense really makes up for it. And I do think this is going to be a somewhat low-scoring game. But I'm going to give it to the, the Bulldogs and their defense with this one. I'm going to say 24-17. to The Bulldogs beat the Gators. Now we have the 7-0 BYU Cougars facing the 2-0 Boise State Broncos. Now, BYU's had a surprising season this year, especially on offense, averaging 44 points a game with 530 yards. Uh, on average a game and QB Zach Wilson has had a phenomenal season this year 19 touchdowns two interceptions and over 2,000 yards passing uh, Boise State has only played two games so I haven't seen much of them but I am going to give this one to BYU I think it's going to be a very close game I'm going to say 34 to 31 the Cougars beat the Broncos now we have the 4-1 and one Oklahoma State Cowboys facing the 4-2 and two Kansas State Wildcats now, Oklahoma State had a tough loss last week against Texas, 41-34 to in overtime, and Kansas State got blown out by West Virginia, 37-10. to Oklahoma State's offense has been pretty good, but especially their run game has been solid, averaging 200 yards uh, rushing a game. Also, their offense a averaging 30 points on average a game, but I think their defense is really their strong point, only allowing 17 points a game and less than 300 yards on average a game. Uh, on the other side, the Wildcats' offense has struggled quite a bit this year, only only averaging 350 uh, yards a game, uh, and especially their defense allowing 437 yards. I think Oklahoma State bounces back from last week. I think they pull a 31 to 21 win over the Wildcats. Now we have the one in one Wolverines facing the two in O Indiana Hoosers. Now the Wolverines had an upset loss against Michigan State last week, 27 to 24. And Indiana had a win against Rutgers, 37 to 21. This is—I think this is going to be a really interesting game. Uh, both teams averaging 36 and a half points on average a game, and both defenses averaging around the same amount of points allowed. Indiana's offense has struggled quite a bit this season, and the Wolverines' offense has done pretty good with 466 yards on average a game. Both defenses averaging about the same amount of yards allowed. And only playing two two games for both of these teams this year. I think it's going to be a really close game. But I'm going to say the Indiana Hoosers win their first game against the Wolverines since 1987. That's 17 straight losses. I think they break the streak. I think they win 31-28. to Now we have the number one ranked 7-0 Clemson Tigers facing the number four ranked Notre Dame Fighting Irish. And Clemson had a bit of a scare last week against Boston College. But they pulled through and won 34-28. to and Notre Dame had a big win against Georgia Tech, 31-13. to And Clemson QB Trevor Lawrence didn't play last week, and he's not playing this week either. And he is a big part of their offense, which has probably been the best in the nation, averaging 500 yards and 46 points a game. And their defense has been even better, only allowing 15 points and 270 yards a game. And Notre Dame has had a great season as well, uh, averaging 34 points and 430 yards a game. And, but their defense has really been their strong point this season only allowing 10 points and 267 yards a game. I do think this is going to be an interesting game, especially to see Clemson play without Trevor Lawrence against a defense like Notre Dame's. But I'm going to give it to Clemson on this one. I, th I do think it's going to be a two-score game. But I do think Clem or Notre Dame does have a chance to, to upset the Tigers in a close one. I think good go to overtime. But I'm going to say 38-27, to the Tigers beat the Fighting Irish. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to post your predictions in the comments below. And if and if you think there is a game that I should have predicted, feel free to post that prediction as well in the comments. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.